It's understandable to be concerned about having your cat neutered. So in this video, we take you through what happens before, during and after. Neutering is a very routine procedure and it's likely your cat will be able to be dropped off at the vets in the morning and be collected later that day. So they won't be away from you for very long. Your cat will be undergoing a general anaesthetic and adult cats will need to have an empty stomach prior to being operated on. You should therefore take up any food around your home from approximately 9pm in the evening before or whenever your vet advises. For younger cats, your vet will advise on how long to withhold food. They will also need to be kept in overnight to ensure they don't get food elsewhere. So make sure your home is nice and secure and to lock or disable your cat flap if you're able to. You should also make sure you put down a litter tray too. If your cat is nervous about being put inside a cat carrier, it may be a good idea to leave this out all the time so they can get accustomed to seeing it and to place a blanket inside that has their scent on it so it smells familiar to them. When you arrive at the vets, you'll likely be asked some questions about how your cat has been lately, what time they last ate and whether they've been kept in overnight. Before the op, your cat will be given a general anaesthetic and brought into the operating room. Your cat will then have their fur shaved in the appropriate area. This is to ensure there is a clear operating area for the vet. Don't worry, your cat's fur will grow back to its original length in a few weeks. The surgery is different for male and female cats. For male cats, the whole operation takes less than five minutes and involves a small incision in the scrotum that will normally heal by itself without the need for stitches in around 10 days. For female cats, an incision is made in the cat's side or belly to find and remove the uterus. This is closed with surgical glue or a few stitches that will dissolve within a couple of weeks. Throughout the surgery, your cat's vitals, such as heart and respiration rate, will be monitored closely by a veterinary nurse. When you come to collect your cat, they may be required to wear a cone around their head. This is a precautionary measure to stop them licking or scratching their stitches and can be removed after approximately 10 days or when advised by the vet. Be aware your cat may be drowsy when they return from their op. This is normal as the anaesthetic wears off. Your vet may prescribe pain relief and this should be given in line with the instructions your vet has provided. Some medication can be given in your cat's food. But if you need any advice on how to give medication to your cat using a pill popper or by hand, you can watch our other videos. Your cat will need to be kept indoors after the operation and the time varies between male and female cats. They shouldn't be allowed out until they've had a post-op checkup and given the all clear from your vet. During this time, it's important to keep up with their normal routine, distraction and monitoring of their operation wound during their recovery. Puzzle feeders are a great way to help stimulate them at this time. In rare cases, if you notice anything such as blood or pus oozing from the wound or any redness or swelling around the wound, you should contact your vet immediately. We hope this has given you a better understanding of what to expect when a cat is neutered. Neutering really is a very standard operation for veterinary surgeons and there are many benefits for your cat's welfare by having it done. If you require any further information on neutering, please visit our website.